Hey, it's Dragon Feather. Um, I'm here to do my witchy shopping vlog number six. Um, I know I already uploaded one today, but I didn't expect to go shopping per se, I guess. Um, so my dad uh, came and picked me up for like a dinner thing, and uh, we ended up going to um, a place where I applied for a job for um, called Bigot, and they sell tons of crystals and fossils there. And I was like, oh wow, this is really cool. So walking throughout the store, um, I was just like looking at stuff and like I was like showing my dad around like, oh, would it be so cool to work here? And um, at the place, there's two huge sand pits on either side of the store. One has fossils, one has like crystals and rocks and stuff. And so I asked my dad if I could um, dig in the pits, I guess. I'm like, because there's crystals in there and I'm like obsessed with crystals. And he's like, yeah, I don't see why not. So he um, paid for it, and there was actually a special to where I got an extra bonus piece, which was awesome. And it was really cheap, too. It was only $18, um, and you got to keep two specimens. I felt like five. It was so bad. Um, but he ended up taking pictures, and it's probably on Facebook now, and it's just... Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but before I even went to the pits, this is the first thing I found, and um, they just had these random stones with... Uh, words on them and it was random words on random stones not even like corresponding with the stone and I found it ironic that on a piece of rose quartz it said love and so I asked my dad if I could get it and it was only like three bucks he's like eh well, why not and so then after that I went digging and the only reason why I wanted to dig is because they said that there was desert rose in the pits and when I found that out I'm like I have to go I have to find some and my dad's like okay okay and so, um, this is the piece of desert rose that I found. Um, it looks like a rose from certain angles, that's why it's called desert rose. And, uh, it's really pretty, like, there was tons of pieces that I found, but this one looked the most like, you know, right there, it kind of looks like a rose, and then right there it looks like a rose. So, this one was the most rosy looking one that I found. And then, I was shocked when I pulled this out. It was, um, this huge chunk of, um, rose quartz. It's just huge and it's really pink um sorry the light is not doing it justice but um yeah and it, I found it and I'm like okay I want to get that and so I was really super happy and then the other thing she didn't tell me what the bonus piece was but she said it was a bonus piece and when I found out that it was an obsidian arrowhead I was like oh I'm so glad we got special dad and this is the arrowhead that I got um it's really sharp I've already cut myself on it twice and um so, I think I might put it on a um, necklace or some sort of a wand or some sort of ceremonial piece. Um, I might use it as a protective thing because uh, obsidian is a protective stone, for those of you who don't know. And it's natural glass. If you look close enough, you can actually see through it. Um, so, it's very, it's very beautiful. It's rather light for its size and I was really happy that that was the piece that I got so I was like yay um but yes uh and so while I was there you know we were just walking around and talking to the lady and the lady who was there um she's like oh yeah I love working here it's very different it's very um unique and blah 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 and I was just like yeah why well, I want to work here and they have um this huge citrine piece na of natural citrine cluster and it's about the size of two soccer balls and it's just it's like absolutely stunning and I'm just like oh my gosh the energy is radi radiating off of this is just ridiculous and so I like was touching it and stuff and she's like she, she's like you seem to know a lot about crystals and stuff and I think she was on to me being one of those kind of witchy people because she kept eyeing my pentacle and um I thought she was going to say something rude, but she's like, I always like those kind of people who are in touch with natural things instead of wanting to be on their cell phones and such. And when I, she said that, I was like, she's on to me, isn't she? Um, yeah, and I don't know if I showed you guys, but I went there another time with my sister, and um, I got this tiger's eye bracelet. And it's just a bunch of tiger's eye, you know, like, inside the um, bracelet. And I did a spell on it to, like, protect me. Um, kind of like... Um, I use it to help activate a shield if I'm using one, um, and that's another thing that I got there, but that's beside the point. Um, 
excuse me, but anyway, yeah, it was really sweet, um, even though she seemed a little uneasy around me because I, I mean, my shirt has a moon on it, I'm wearing a freaking pentacle, and I was like, you know, telling her all these crystals and properties and stuff, and she's just like, yep, you seem to know your stuff. And so she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they haven't hired you here. You could definitely help people out. And so it was like, yeah, you know, funny. I wish they called. So they did it. Um, so I'm going to go tomorrow and I'm going to talk to one of the managers there and be like, oh, I brought in my resume and I was just wondering if, you know, what's going on, if I, if you guys are hiring or just, you know, ask them what's up. Or I was going to call or something. So yeah, um, that's my other witchy shopping vlog. Um, if you guys have ever had like experiences where you found things like this in places that you didn't expect, um, let, uh, let me know. Let me know where you found crazy witchy things that you're like that doesn't belong here and you ended up getting them or you didn't or you just, you know, saw them there and you're just like, why is that here? So I'd like to know, so leave them below and I'd love to know. So yes, until next time, blessed be. And I hope you enjoyed watching, and bye.